Alright guys, welcome to the third installment of my uh, Let's Play operation of Gateway to Core, Close Combat. Um, now if you remember from our previous two videos, we had these two battles. The first battle, um, we did surprisingly well up against um, I think six tanks and we held on um, to this pocket here. Now they've pushed in here and they've taken the church and the surrounding um, fields. So uh, it's going to be a struggle. Uh, we got to knock them back. We, we've we had our nose bloodied, but uh, we should do all right in the second one. Now, in the second battle we had, <laughs> we did surprisingly uh, less well than in the first one. And they pushed us back. They took this uh, cluster of buildings here and here which has pushed us back even further we've all we've got this ground to work with but it is open field um, we lost three tanks in that battle so I don't know what we're gonna go with next time around but what we have to do now is the troop movement stage um, and they seem to be coming from this area so what I was thinking is moving the 6th regiment up here. No, can't do that. Can't move back. Because I was hoping we could maybe loop around coming from behind. But we can't do that apparently. That's okay. In the first deployment we did move the 10th around here to cut off um, the eastern side of the map. And what we can do is move him in to help back up one of these two regiments. Uh, now, logic would say to move him down here because we lost the most ground in the second battle. But I'm going to send him up here because we uh, are facing more tanks than what was expected. Uh, could be the wrong move, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, what we'll do is we'll attach the mortar and the airstrikes here for those battles. Uh, we'll also give the tenth the same, and we'll move him in here. All right. What we'll do with the sixth. Uh, I don't wonder why I can't move in there. So we have the 130th Brigade up here as well. And he also can't move. So obviously that blacked out areas you can't move into. So we have to either face them head them face them head on because they're coming from there. Right, well I'll I'll move him down just in case. And we'll move the sixth. Now we'll keep the 6th there, because if they defeat us in this first battle, they may move north <coughs> and try and take Shu. So yeah, I'm happy with that. We'll go with that. So we'll execute. <coughs> ah, so they've got two regiments there now. That's interesting. So they are making a push. So I think I did make the right move by moving him in. Um, these two guys are still not really effective at the moment, but they will be pending on what happens here. Because if they totally wipe us off the map in this section, we'll have these two regiments here. One kind of, I think that's medium strength or medium morale, and one that's uh, a full, yeah, so that one's only got maybe half of what we need. This one's got the full one. <clears throat> Alright guys, um, let's get into it. Alright, so what we were left with after the first battle was the Platoon HQ, the Bren section from the uh, the 12th Platoon. In the 7th Rifle Platoon we were left with two Bren sections. And in the support we still got the 6-pounder and the Churchill. Now, 
their experience would have gone up from the last battle, so I'll leave those guys in. In the third slot, uh, so we had Vickers, I think, if I remember correctly, and they didn't, they weren't as effective as I wanted them to be. So I'm thinking maybe another anti-tank gun, a six pounder, uh, or maybe another tank. Ah, we've got a crocodile. So we'll we'll put the crocodile in there because we know it's got the flamethrower and the it was 75 millimeter. Yeah, we're gonna have to take the 12th uh, rifle platoon out because they've been decimated. We'll bring the 10th in. They're a full troop. And Pete's only got one. The 13th? Yeah, so the 13th is better. So we've got two in the Piat, full platoon HQ. Alright, let's go. <coughs> now we move into the actual troop deployment phase. Okay, so in the last video, the Germans made it to the church. So that was one, two, three, four tanks of theirs that got destroyed and our one that got destroyed. What I'll do is, again, I'll put the... I'll zoom out first. I'll put the six pounder where it was before because it seemed like that was the best place to put it. Right there. Uh, no, it was Bren. Here we go, six pounder. Yeah, so he's got cover from this building and he can shoot anything coming down this road. Now, I don't want to make the same mistake as I did before because having those tanks in the open fields gave them too much line of sight to hit uh, the buildings I was in. He just wiped them off the map. So we're going to lose the north. I'm not going to deploy anyone in this, in this one little square here. That's just going to be pointless. The orchard's going to look like the best place that we can mount some defense. So what I'll do is I'll get a Bren section there, Bren section there, Bren section here. Um, Bren section here. Kind of leaves the six pounder a little bit in the open, doesn't it? Just seeing if there's a better place to put that. It's pointless putting it up here because there's too many buildings and I don't think the tanks are going to attack through there. I think they'll come down through the south. No, nah, I will leave it there. I'll leave it there. I have the mortar team here in this little courtyard. The Piat team. Now we can actually utilize the Piats in this battle. I I want to put them here in this building. It's surrounded, yes. But if they're on ambush and there was a tank nearby, they may be able to take it out before being taken out. But in saying that, if they've got a whole cluster of uh, infantry units around it, then they might just stall in the building and it's only two men. So yeah, I'll take him out of there. I might have him here in the north for now. Um, so his platoon HQ can be there on the victory location. This rifle section. Now see, our southern flank is fairly exposed at the moment but I had units in these buildings here and they got decimated oh. so we'll move move the rifle section here and the crocodile yeah the crocodile will have up here so he can shoot his flames into the church, maybe set the church on fire, 
it hurts morale of the Germans and he'll have a maybe a better opportunity of taking them out the Churchill I'll put just here now he can move down to the south if need be and if they move any troops across the field he can take them out so I'll put the six pounder on ambush the Churchill on ambush the Bren section on ambush rifle section on ambush now everyone will go on ambush until we get a, a look of where everyone is Platoon. so Prout is leaving is leading this um, this group of soldiers <coughs> and this brand section here and they are in see two-story buildings and if they did take those two-story buildings, they'd have great line of sight into the orchard. So what I'll do is move, I'll move one section up here on ambush. I don't think they'll survive for too long, but as long as they can hold out, and we can maybe manoeuvre a crocodile um, into a better position, we may be able to hold on to that section. Uh, this Bren section I'll just put up here on ambush. So if anyone wanders into these buildings here, they've got a good line of sight. Yep. Pit on ambush. Now, um, like it's been in the other videos, the Germans are on the attack and we're on the defence. We have to push them back. We can't afford to lose any more ground or we'll probably lose the map. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm happy with that deployment so far. We do have the mortar and airstrike too, which will come in handy. Hopefully they'll be as effective as in the first battle. So they're, they're the fallback uh, units. So if our, our units in the front line have to pull back, these guys will cover them, hopefully. And then if the Germans have to move through the field, through the orchard, then they can start picking them off. In theory. Uh, my theories didn't work too well the first time, but hopefully we'll do better in this one. All right, guys, let's begin. All right, so straight away, we've got a tank, six-pounder. Can't see him at the moment. But he can fire. Upon those units that are hiding under the tank, the burnout tank. Alright, so this tank, the Panzer IV is starting to move across this field here, straight over the fence. Now, Churchill can see him, so hopefully we can take him out before he takes us out. That shot wasn't too effective. <laughs> Fell a little short, they've smoked. That's okay. Uh, at the moment, that seems like it's the only tank we can see. I don't know if they've reinforced their tanks from last time because they lost four, or they just start with the two that they had left. Oh, there we go, it's gone straight away. That's what I like to see. So now straight away they've already lost the Panzer IV. It's going to diminish their force fairly well. If this unit gets line of sight on my six pounder, they will most likely take him out. So we're going to need to get this Bren section to open fire upon them to suppress them, which they're starting to do now. Now at the moment that seems to be the only movement on the map so fingers crossed we're not looking at a complete barrage yeah so they're tentative, tentatively moving down the fence line we've only got one yeah so they're all firing blind they're seeking cover okay 
I won't move the crocodile just yet. I'll see if they are moving for the north. It'd be great if we could take the cafe back because it means in any future operations on this map we could try and flank them. All right, so here's the second tank. So what I'll do is I'll move the Churchill down to see if he can maybe loop around and shoot him from the south. Get him in the side, it'll take him out and hopefully that'll be the only tanks we'll have to deal with. Doesn't seem like you can see anyone at the moment. So then the Germans are returning fire on the Bren section. There's another team here fighting behind this burnout Stug or Stug, however you want to say it. Yep, yeah, so there we go. So both of the guns are wheeling around. He's maybe just needs to move a little bit forward so he can get his gun over the fence line. Whew. Fingers crossed, guys, this could be the start of our actual fight back. Yep, so we can fire upon him now. Aiming, firing, total miss. Complete miss. He's got us lined up. He's smoked. He hasn't chose to fire his big gun yet. So hopefully reloading. Lack is reloading. We may be able to hit him. That smoke can put him off. It seems that we do have units moving in the north too. Something along here. Um, I'll move the Bren section up because it doesn't seem like there's any tanks up there. The smoke is obstructing his field of vision. And he's not moving. So the six pounder still can't fire upon them. The Bren section's starting to get pinned down. They've lost Zanchi is dead. They've lost one guy already. I may move the crocodile up. Now that's opening the crocodile to any Panzerfaust from the church, but um, if he can lay down some suppressor fire on these units, that'll help. Alright, so the smoke has dissipated. The cheeky bugger. There's maybe a little incline here or a pole that's rendering that gun useless. Maybe if I move back a bit rather than slowing down by trying to cross the fence line. That, there we go. So we've got line of sight and we've taken him out. We have taken both tanks out. Um, very proud of that. Uh, I'm not sure if they have any other tanks on the field at the moment, but it seems like we have taken out the only tanks that they have. So now we can start to move the Churchill up. Alright, so this Bren section needs to pull out. They've lost three guys already, including their sergeant, which is not going to be good for us. I'll move the crocodile. See, I don't know if I want to move him to the north and have him come down here. Aha, uh -huh. there they are. Yep, so... Maybe a Piet might be able to help take out that Panzergrenadier unit. Oh, they're going to fire upon him anyway. Right, I'll move the Churchill down to the south. I have both tanks in the south. So, does it seem, they seem to be pushing straight through the center. Okay, so we're firing the flame upon the, what is it, the church tower. Right. So the crocodile is going to be the most effective in the north. I'll leave him in the north. They definitely have a Panzergrenadier unit in the church. Now they, I think they do have anti-tank weapons. 
I'm pretty sure they have any tank weapons, so I don't want to get the, the crocodile too close or they'll be able to take him out. In position. So, I'll move him a little bit further away to the north, so he may have a good, better line of sight in that tower and take out any Germans that are camped in there. Because I think they're firing on the six pounder at the moment. And the six pounder is firing upon this. It looks like another Panzer Grenadier unit. Now, I've got the Churchill in the field. If there was anyone else in the field, he'd be able to see him by now. So they'll either be along the hedge line or on the road. So if I can maybe push to the south and cross, say, here, I'll be able to flank him and hit him from the side. Maybe take this farm house. Alright, so this friend section's engaging. The crocodile hasn't got sight on anyone, so I'll keep moving him up. Because he's just not effective there at the moment. The P team can go back on ambush. We don't want to lose him just yet. Um, just in case we come up against more tanks, maybe hiding in the backfield. What I am going to do is I'm going to make a push on the cafe and I'll use this Bren section I've had in reserve. So I'll move them fast up to the road, or get them to hop the road, go uh, house hopping, maybe up to this fence line, and I'll move the crocodile with them as support. And we'll take the cafe back. Alright. Starting to fight back here, guys. Uh, this uh, Bren section's basically out of commission. Now, see, they're starting to move down the road. They're getting a bit gutsy, so I'll put this Bren section on defence. And they can see them, so they're going to fire upon them. Now, the Churchill's in position. I'll get him to cross the hedge. Now, like I said in one of the previous videos, they can get uh, tracked. Their tracks can break. Trying to cross uh, hedgerows. We have both mortar and air support ready, which is good at this stage of the game. I just hope they don't actually move into these two-story buildings here because it's going to be hard to try and get them out. Uh, they might be able to hold on there. Yeah, we do it in the north. Okay, we've got a Stug. We have another tank. I don't know why the crocodiles decide to half cross <laughs> that hedge there, but we'll get him to come down and try and take out the Stug. These guys will have to go and ambush because they'll get fired upon by the Stug. Um, the Churchill is crossing the hedgerow. And I'll get him to move up to there. Not too close to these buildings, just in case they have units in there that can fire upon them. Now the Stug, he knows that the crocodile's there and he's gonna try and take him out. So, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna roll the dice here, I'm gonna try and come around behind him, hoping that there's not gonna be anyone in this building. Right, so we've got the Bren section there, they're a little bit winded, but that's okay. Uh, they're still operational across the road into that house and shed or whatever it is all right so the crocodile from where he is can see the back end of the stug so hopefully or oh, no he can't anymore I'll get him to move across the hedge hedge row and hopefully take one shot in the back of the stug where the armor is the the thinnest and take him out and then I think the whole map will open up to us so this is exciting for me guys hope it is for you uh, after our first performance. Now, I'll add to, I must say that both the Germans and the Allies, ah, oh, see, so he's swung around. This is not good. Flamed him, and he's taken him out. Perfect. I'll get him to move back onto the road. Now, <laughs> perfect. So that's three. He's going to try and flame the vehicle crews, taking out one. Should get some medals. Munson and Tombs and Pettigrew. Hopefully get some medals for their efforts. Alright, so we've got this team here. They are firing up 
upon the anti-tank gun. Doesn't seem to be effective at the moment. So hopefully he'll open up. I don't know how many rounds he's got left. Got, it says four saving ammo. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I'm happy with that. You can save your ammo because four rounds is not a lot. Uh, only one um, is needed to take out a tank if you get a good enough shot. But more often than that, not that that doesn't happen. Okay, yeah, so I was saying both the, the Germans and the Allies are on the same strength. Uh, I haven't geared it in my favour in any way. Because I, I like a game of the challenge. And if I lose the operation completely, then so be it. I'll deal with it. I won't uh, restart or edit. So, yeah. Alright, so we've got the Churchill down here. He is engaging, I think. Maybe firing upon the guys across the field, yep. So that's okay. He's in a good position where he is. While he's there... Redeployed. Now, I haven't had any mortar shells drop on me, so that suggests that they don't have any mortars either. They may not have actually reinforced yet, so... Um, we might take this map back and maybe push him back. So I'll get him... I know it's risky, but I'll get him to move up beside these buildings here, just in case there's anyone here in this farmhouse. Uh, hopefully it won't be close enough for them to take him out with their Panzerfaust or Shreks or whatever they're called. Oh, see his little gun. He is scanning the area. So... Alright, so they've offered a ceasefire. They are on the ropes. We've got six minutes left. So we're going to go on the attack now ourselves. They're all teams to start moving up, take as much ground back as possible. This Bren section to here. I'll get this Bren section to try and take the church back. Uh, move this Bren section up here. If anyone's left on the road, I'll take them out. Um, even move up the platoon HQ. We haven't needed to use our mortar yet. That's good doesn't look like there's anyone here so we'll move up to the middle of the road Redeployed. In position. Right. Here, team. move up there we're gonna take the cafe back which is great now we've got someone here In position. so we'll move the crocodile that down Ah, okay, so we do have another tank. Alright. So, I'll hide those guys, because they'll get um, taken out. So there's another tank. And our Churchill can see it. They've taken a shot. They've taken out Briggs, the actual uh, the officer in the tank. I wasn't expecting this. I would have presumed that if they were trying to take us, push us off the map, that they would have moved their tanks up straight away. Alright, that's good. We've taken that tank out. There's the other tank there. Um, I'm starting to lose count of all the tanks on the field. Alright, so we'll move them out. They're just going to get mowed down there. Hopefully this... Alright. Huh. We've taken the church back. We'll now try and take this building back. Now, this Churchill is getting grenaded. He seems to be holding out. He's immobilized, so they've destroyed the tracks, but he can maybe try and defend himself against this pioneer group. Maybe a bit like uh, Brad Pitt in the Fury movie. I don't like his chances, though. Uh, so they're pretty much... Yeah, their gun's useless. So I'll get this Bren section and start moving down the road as well. This Bren section can move up to here. We're starting to take casualties now, but that was expected. I didn't actually expect them to have any more tanks. Now, we do have the airstrike and the mortar strike also in play. So we're going to drop the airstrike on this Panzer. And it seems it has been taken out as well. Immobilized at least. No, it totally destroyed. So, 
that's good. Their tanks have been surprisingly ill-effective in this campaign. Normally, when you get up against Panzers and you've only got maybe Churchills or Cromwells, uh, things don't go really according to plan. Uh, these guys, this Bren section here, it's taken a couple of casualties. I'll just get them to move up and maybe take this victory location. Uh, yeah, so two and a half minutes left. Just try and take as much ground back as possible with the mortar teams and the HQ. Vim across the field, so we'll take the field back. The MG team there. Can't see it from that Churchill. So this crocodile is firing upon this tank here, uh, maybe the last tank they have. We're running out of time so we'll drop the mortars on this section. Maybe, maybe move my Bren section back a bit so they don't get caught up in the, in the rain, so to speak. Crocodile's immobilized. Uh, it is yellow so I don't know if that's permanent or not. Look at that, he's taken out another Panzer. He's definitely going to have some medals, this guy. Uh, the mortar strike is starting to come down, taking a few casualties there. All in all, I'm happy. Got uh, Pioneer surrendering. He's here. So I'm happy with how this has worked out. Uh, we've got a minute left. I don't know if we're going to be able to take any more victory locations, but we'll try. So we're definitely pushed them back. Oh, I, I'd just like to say thank you too to J Squared John Jeremy for um, giving critiquing my video. One more tank left. That's okay. Uh, so yeah, it's not completely immobilized. Um, gave me a few awesome hints uh, I started doing this because of him and and people like Quill18 and Tick they gave me the inspiration to uh, start doing a few Let's Plays I don't have the confidence that, and the experience that they have but hopefully one day I'll be up there with those guys so we've secured all those victory locations. I think we're now going to push them back to only having two victory locations themselves. Which will be the Chateau and the road to Noulon. Now I wonder if the crocodile... No, that's it. We've run out of time. Alright, so really happy with how that panned out. We've taken a whole heap of ground back. They still have the crossroads here, but that's okay, because we can actually, in our next battle, hopefully drive them off the map. We didn't take too many casualties. We've got 100% morale. Time has run out. So I still have some victory. Okay, allies won the battle because they control a greater number. Now, we'll look at the individual soldiers. Uh, so one act of bravery for the platoon HQ because they took the victory location not much there for the mortar They didn't do anything P likewise the Piat team didn't actually do much uh, act of bravery for the rifle section uh, The Bren section we've took one guy was killed Evans two acts of bravery uh, Haynes is mortally wounded two acts of bravery the rest have one and two acts of bravery. Uh, right, so this Bren section as well. Heath took out two guys. Harding wounded one. And Bartels killed two, wounded one. So that's a good dividend. Uh, this Bren section wounded, killed one, wounded one. Lost two guys, mortally wounded. So this reserve Bren team. Yeah, so Axe of Bravery all round, a few wounded. This Bren section took out one guy, wounded two. The six pounder now took out three, wounded one, took out two, wounded one, two wounded. 
Surprised I didn't get any medals for that. This was the Churchill. So they, yeah, like I said, they did lose their leader. Two acts of bravery. And he gets the wounded medal. The gunner. Now, I don't know exactly what that medal is. Um, maybe you can write that in the comments. If anyone knows what medal that is, let us know what it is. He was wounded himself. He's lost a bit of strength. He took out a tank. Killed three guys. Wounded one. Bowstead disabled a tank. Wounded a guy. And Tracy helped to disable that same tank. Now, for the man of the match, I'd have to say goes to the crocodile. Yeah. So, yet again, more, I think there's tank medals of some description. Uh, immobilized tank, took out a tank, wounded a guy, immobilized that tank, killed one, wounded one, and took out another tank. So, yeah, all in all, uh, and killed four guys too in the process. Cole, good job. All in all, a great battle. So, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch up again. Uh, probably tomorrow I'll do another video and it'll be the second battle, which will probably be a lot harder this one. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.